Oh, subscribe. Please subscribe. That's the first order of business. Second order of business, Crew Down Ramones, House of Math. You'll see a link down there to the Facebook page. Uh, like that link if you have children that you want to educate in mathematics. Uh, why is the mathematics important? Well, because they couldn't get away with half the nonsense that they're getting away with if more people understood the mathematics and statistics. Because there's no, I mean, the Ron Paul campaign is well aware of the fact that there's vote fraud going on. The people that came to Maui, uh, they were well aware of it, but they downplayed it, and they, you know, very diplomatic and well-spoken. But, and did I mention the, the two women that came to Maui? They're young and energetic, enthusiastic, you know, putting their lives basically on hold for the time being. Well, this is their life now. But, you know, taking time off to go work for the campaign. And uh, they got a good gig. They got Hawaii. But the people that they sent here, these two women, uh, you know, and I have to say it in the nicest way possible. They couldn't say shit if they had a mouthful, right? They couldn't, they wouldn't talk about vote fraud. They wouldn't, talk, right? They, all they're saying is get out, get the vote out, get the vote out, get, you know, organize, get people out there, watch the polls and so forth. But they didn't want to talk about vote fraud because they don't want to make it sound like sour grapes. They don't want to make it sound like they're whining and complaining. But sometimes you got to call a spade a spade. Did I mention those two women were beautiful? <laughs> Did I mention that? Easy on the eyes. Gorgeous young women. And you'll see this in the in the Ron Paul girls. I mean, I mean, all the women I've met that are support Ron Paul, above average IQ, well read, well spoken, beautiful young girls. Well, beautiful women in general. Not of them all, not all of them are young, but I mean, above average looks. And they, they see the the whole the mainstream media tries to paint it like these are ugly old crones that are all you know want women to have babies even when they've been raped and so forth. No, they they absolutely are for Ron Paul. And the issues are important. The issues of, you know, birth control and so forth, that they're trying to, you know, use the side issue. The Democrats don't want to talk about, you know, birth control. When we've got vote fraud going on, we've got a president that's trying to get us in the war. Mr. Peace, Mr. Nobel Peace Prize, can't offer the Al branch. He's talking about war, right? Talking about bombing, right? What, the best, what would be the best time? How would be the best way to go about it? Uh, you know, the Federal Reserve which is the main thing, all this money printing, a private corporation printing our money for us. Are you kidding me? Then we have every mainstream media pundit saying that, you know, that's crazy, getting rid of the Federal Reserve? We need the Federal I don't think we should get rid of the Federal Reserve. I've heard them say it. Rachel Maddow, I heard that come out of her mouth. Watch the TV and you'll see that. So maybe it's time to turn off the TV and go to work for Ron Paul. Get your news off the Internet. Take a look at the links that I have here. And there's many more that, you know, there's much more important, many more important issues out there than just birth control or, or abortion, right? Hundreds of thousands of Iraqi kids, children, hundreds of thousands of them dead because of our military policies, because of our foreign policy, a direct result of the apathy of the American people. And now they want to do Iran because they didn't make billions of dollars enough on Iraq. They need more. Right? They'll never be satisfied. That machine is never satiated. Never. We've got this guy, Ron Paul, that wants to come in and you know bring the troops home and put uh, peace as the primary policy for our you know foreign policy, and they call him an isolationist, and he's crazy. He wants to trade with you know Cuba and Iran and you know all these other countries and you know contain them using diplomatic means, mutual respect, not mutual destruction, and he's the crazy guy. And see, people are seeing through that now. You can you can only lie for so long. And these guys are allowed to lie. They're allowed to lie into the camera. There's no law against it. And people are starting to wake up. It's lies. Let's take a look at some of the things, that are like, because of the links that I have here. Use the links to your best advantage. Again, look at that link that says the Ron Paul campaign complains about state GOP shenanigans. They use the word shenanigans. Um, and just look at the way it's slanted and written. If Ron Paul were to say something about, you know, the fact that there's, the fact that there's vote fraud, that attack poodles, you know, as Catherine Austin Fitz says, would come out and shred him. But you have to make it so that there's no way they can deny that it's fraud. There's no, mathematically, you have to prove it, you have to authenticate and verify. If you have direct knowledge of it, you need to file a complaint in a court of law, not just complain on the internet, a court of law. There are laws that have been broken, and the people that broke those laws need to go to jail. I think it's a very poor idea for some of you guys to sneak back behind the campaign and quote Carol Paul about election fraud and so forth. Again, uh, the mainstream media lie is that everything's fine. Everything's hunky-dory. 
Don't worry about it. Go back to sleep. That should be an issue that wakes up everybody, all Republicans, Democrats, independents, everybody in this country. That should be a bipartisan issue. Our vote needs to be secure. You need to know that your vote was counted. They don't count votes in, in secret. That should be an issue. But what do we get? I get a, you know, from the Democratic campaign, I get, uh, you know, birth control. Okay, how about, uh, you know, war with Iran? How about the NDAA? National Defense Authorization Act. How about uh, HR? Look at this. Look at this. Look at this link. HR 347. Basically making it a felony. You know, it's a fel now a felony to have a demonstration near a presidential candidate or a uh, visiting head of state or the president or anywhere the Secret Service is operating, any place designated as a special event of national significance, and under that including the Super Bowl, the Democratic or Republican National Conventions. And that will be signed by Obama. Guarantee it. Now, you want to protest at the Republican convention or the Democratic convention? Or you want to exercise your free speech rights? Fuck you, is basically what the government is saying. Do you understand? Alright, it happens in parts. The National Defense Authorization Act went into effect on March 1st, the Ides of March. My court approves warrantless cell uh, searches of cell phones, warrantlessly. <laughs> uh, that comes out of the Chicago Tribune news. Right? It's fine. They can, right? because, what is it? They, in, officers in Indiana found the number of cell phones at the scene of a drug bust. Again, the drug war. You, they use that to encroach on our freedoms all the time. And what they basically said is that the... U.S. Court of Appeal for the Seventh Circuit rejected the argument, finding that the invasion of privacy was so slight that for the police actions did not violate the Fourth Amendment's ban on unreasonable searches. In other words, it's reasonable for them to search your electronic devices and use the information therein against you. Uh, the MTV, the MTV, the, <laughs> the MTV link here from the examiner again talking about two 30 second MTV ads warn Americans about the National Defense Authorization Act and what it authorizes under law. I suggest you read your German history and study the German history. Everything that they did was legal. Right? They passed laws and made everything they did legal. They're doing the same thing in the United States. A uh, belligerent act launches its online National Defense Authorization Act protest campaign. There's a mouthful. Belligerent act. Uh, Anyway, just take a look at that link and read over it. Because you know what? Making a video like this will eventually be construed as a belligerent act. Having a website that might be uh, against some of the government policies could be considered a belligerent act. And then they can throw you in jail, hold you indefinitely. Do you get it? It happens in parts. It doesn't happen all at once. Right? They lie, and they lie, and they lie, and then they lie about their lies. The EPA deems fracking safe. Gasland says something else. Have you seen that documentary, Gasland? I would take a look at that documentary. And understand that that guy was trying to film the government, like the Republicans, in a meeting where they were basically taking bribes from the, <laughs> from the people that want to do fracking. Uh, not directly. They don't do that directly anymore. But basically the people that were you know, trying to lobby the government to say, you know, fracking's fine. President Obama's all about fracking. Looks like he also believes that fracking will lead to job creation. And, and President Obama for fracking. Awesome. You Democrats, just keep looking the other way. Just keep making excuses. Anyhow, uh, let's see, what else we got going on? Oh, the Department of Homeland Security guy, just going on and on. He's like, I'd never, I'm not aware. I've never heard about this. I don't know anything about that. I need to look into that. I need to ask my friends. But look at that. Watch that video. And when people got militant or were getting starting to get upset on the phone about this Department of Homeland Security guy basically lying about the underwear bomber not even having a passport and still somehow getting out, being able to get on the plane. That guy should never have been able to even get on the plane without the new security measures. And yet somehow he got on. All right, Haskell, take a look at what that guy has to say about it. And other eyewitnesses too. Now... They and they bring up the point that you know once that got into the limelight, now suddenly we've got all these airport scanners and all this other equipment that's being sold because their warehouses nobody wanted those that equipment because those devices are not safe. Again, mathematics, physics will tell you that those devices are not safe. 
81%. Let's go on to 81% of Israelis oppose unilateral strike on Iran. People want peace everywhere. Israelis want peace. United States wants peace. The Iranians want peace. We all want peace. It's the government and the warmongers that want war because they make money off of it. The military industrial complex, which is owned by the bankers. Again, it comes back to the bankers, the Federal Reserve, the central banks. Every time it comes back to these guys. You need to be aware of who they are and what their agenda is. They want war. They just made billions of dollars off of tricking people into an Iraq war. Another Iraq war. But it's not enough. They want another one. Right? There's ne they're never satiated. They'll never be, they can never make enough billions of dollars. And it doesn't matter how they make it. Hundreds of thousands of children can die, and they don't care. And they've gotten it to the point where the mainstream media has you so dumbed down and dulled that you can look the other way. Well, we're using white phosphorus and napalm. They'll never even report on it. All that stuff about the NDAA and, you know, uh, that HR 347, they, uh, has the media explained that to anybody? Has there been shows about it? Has Stossel had a half hour on any of this? Has there been shows on uh, Fox News or CBS? Right? They don't call it CBS for nothing about all these different encroachments on our freedoms? Not a word. People are unaware. I mean, they're literally unaware if they're watching the, you know, the, the infotainment. So turn off the infotainment and get to work for Ron Paul. Get people aware. Because once people start hearing about this stuff, uh, they, I mean, they wake up. And when they find out, see, you can well document it now. That's why I give you these links. Because now it's not just talk, it's not just hearsay, it's not just some guy spouting off on the internet. You have links, and links to links, and more links, where you can prove that it's not just hearsay. It's not just conspiracy theory. The media is now, you know, ramping up the war for Iran, again, for these warmongers, using the same excuses and lies as they did last time. And the motivations are the same, money. The central bank wants to knock over the Iranians because they don't have a central bank that's beholden to them. They're not enslaved by debt to them like we are. And they want to change that. And they'll make up every kind of excuse about weapons of mass destruction and nuclear weapons and all this other stuff. All right. Ron Paul wants peace. Ron Paul would bring the troops home. Ron Paul would put an end to this. So, of course, they're going to do everything they can to denigrate Ron Paul. And if he would say something about vote fraud, oh, that would be a great arrow in their quiver to make it sound like, yeah, that's that crazy old man. Because so many people get their news from the mainstream media. Right? And it seems like many members of the Ron Paul campaign get their news from the mainstream media. Right? Again, we don't need to be against Obama. We need to be pro-Ron Paul. But all you have to do is expose the fact that all Obama is is more Bush. He's out-bushing Bush. The Bush-era torture architects call for indefinite detention. Who wrote that indefinite detention bill? Ron Paul was absolutely against that. And Obama... Right? They made this story, this theater about how he might veto it and how he was... He was a party to writing that. Right? They got caught in that lie. They just lie to you and then lie about the lies. All right. The Federal Reserve note. The Federal Reserve is the main thing. And the, and the Ron Paul campaign scientifically, you know, they've done, uh, you know, focus groups and research and so forth. And the Federal Reserve isn't even on the list of things that most Americans are, you know, concerned about or aware of. Very sad. But that's the main thing. See, Ron Paul people are aware. Ron Paul people understand this isn't conspiracy theory. Ron Paul people understand that it's all about the money. And that the FRN is going to collapse. The Federal Reserve note is going to collapse. It's a mathematical certainty. So save in physical paper. No, wait, what did I just say? Save in physical silver, not in paper. There you go. Um, and then the last thing I want, oh, and then just watch this, this it's, it's labeled CNN, Ron Paul ad shocks USA, but actually what that's about is an Iraqi woman talking about what happened in Iraq. And if you watch that, you will be aghast because so many people, so many chauvinists, so many nationalists are unable to see what we've done over there and why these people despise us. Because if they had done the same thing in the United States, we would hate them for generations. And then this last, just the most ridiculous thing ever. Uh, Congress <laughs> says that Iran is arming Mexico drug cartels and smuggling drugs into the U.S. It's Iran. 
Fast and Furious, Operation Fast and Furious, the CIA, our government? No, it's not us. You know, the fact that we've got, uh, you know, opium production way, way up in Afghanistan? Nah, it's not us, it's the Iranians. That's who it is. And if you believe that, then I'm sorry you, you spent this long watching the video. Anyway, get out there for Ron Paul. Use the links. Uh, check out Crew Down Ramon's House of Math. And subscribe, please. Please subscribe. And share the links. Use the links to their best advantage. Get out there. Tell the truth. In the time of universal lies, truth is treason. But get out there and tell the truth anyway. Go to work. Do whatever you can. Right? Get some cards. Pass them out. Do whatever you can. Don't let the stuff you can't do stop you from doing the stuff you can do.